In this tutorial, we'll cover the high-level design flow for application development on Snickerdoodle. There's a link to a handout in the description that you can use to follow along with this process. To get started, we're going to open the SDK using XSDK from the command line. Select our application workspace. SDK will load. And we'll see the development environment. To select a new project, we're going to go File, New Application Project. And from the New Project dialog, we'll select a project name. In this case, it's going to be Hello Snickerdoodle. We're going to select the operating system platform, which could be standalone for bare metal applications. In this case, we're going to use Linux. We're going to open an empty application to start with nothing in the project. We're going to create a new file. This is going to be a single file program. We're going to create a new source file, call it main.c. We'll just use the default source template file. Now we can start defining our code within the source file. Include a couple of header files here, stdlib.h and stdio.h, so that we can make calls to printf. We're going to define our program entry point function here, main. We don't need any inputs. Specify a single return statement at the end, and our function body will create a will contain a single statement, printf, which is just going to say hello. And now we can build our project. With the current project settings, it will automatically build because the project is so small. We can force it to rebuild and we can tell it to clean the project by going project clean. We can specify whether we want to clean all projects or just the ones that we specify. In this case, it doesn't matter because this is the only project in the workspace. We can see the output here. We're going to navigate to our workspace in the terminal here so that we can check the output file, which is hello snickerdoodle.elf, which is our binary output. So we need to mount our SD card, which contains our root file partition. And we're going to be able to copy that binary into our rootfs. In this case, we're gonna just mount the file system directly using an SD card. And we're gonna check where it's mounted to using mount media slash snickerdoodle slash rootfs so that we can install it. There are other ways that we could copy the binary output into the root file system, but this is probably the most straightforward. We're going to copy it into user bin. And as you can see, there's already a hello snickerdoodle binary in here which we're just simply going to copy over. So we're going to copy the workspace directory. Hello Snickerdoodle debug is where we built it to. And we're going to actually leave off the .elf extension when we copy it. And here we can see the copied output. 37K is the size, no .elf extension. So we need to get out of this directory so that we can eject the SD card, which is mounted at dev sdb. And then we can remount it to the snickerdoodle so that we can boot up and execute our binary. So we're going to insert our SD card into the Snickerdoodle cage here and lock it down. And we're going to connect our USB port, which will give us power. 
And now we want to open up a console. In this case, I'm going to use Minicom for our terminal emulator, the settings of which have already been specified for slash dev TTY USB 0. We can see Snickerdoodle booting. We're going to log in and we can execute our program which is present on the path variable so we should have autocomplete here and there's our output so this is the basic design flow of application development for snickerdoodle using the sdk